Hello friends and welcome to another episode of Momo Makes. I'm your girl Momo. I do DIYs, upcycles and sewing projects. If you're just a beginner, you must be wondering what kind of cutting tools should I invest in? So today's video is going to demystify all the cutting tools you need as a beginner. I am right now working on a beginner sewing series, which I think you would find very helpful in your sewing journey. So please consider subscribing. There are many tools that are available in the market, but you don't necessarily have to buy all of them. In today's video, I'm going to show you what I have in my sewing room, how I use it, and whether you need it at this stage or not. In my previous video, I have also covered a comprehensive trip to Walmart to see what is available in the market. So if you're interested, I will link that video right here. Hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, and let's get started. So as a beginner, you have to understand that you are just starting out. You do not need to invest a lot of money in tools. Your focus should be on learning the skills. So at this point in time, you should be focusing on learning how to cut the fabric, how to cut the patterns correctly. Here are the absolute basic set of cutting tools for sewing that most sewists have in their kit. Cheap scissors for paper. If you download and print PDF patterns on your home printer, the regular paper printer can dull your expensive fabric shears. For this purpose, you should always have cheap scissors just to cut paper. These would be a dollar scissors. When you are in your sewing room and you are about to cut out a pattern or anything that's relating to paper, you should keep these handy at all times so you don't have to use your fabric scissors. fabric shears. These will be one of the most used and important cutting tools for sewing in your sewing kit. The best sewing scissors are especially designed to cut fabric and are medium sized. Fabric shears should be sharp enough to cut through several layers of fabric at one time. The weight of the fabric scissors should be moderate so your hand doesn't get cramped when you're cutting fabric for a while. The shape of the handle is also very important. You should be easily able to glide your thumb and your fingers into the handles without feeling any strain. Good fabric shears are a bit expensive, so let me show you what I have in my sewing kit right now. If you are an absolute beginner on a budget, you can start with buying a very basic cheap pair of fabric scissors. These can range from $4 to under $20, and I would say they're pretty decent for occasional projects. These Fiskar scissors, which are 8 inch bent sewing scissors with an orange handle, cost me about $10 and they are good for cutting a wide variety of materials including light cottons, silks and other lightweight fabrics. These are light and agile and quite easy to maneuver. So if you are a beginner and you are on a budget, this is a good option for you. These Westcott fashion scissors, which are 9 inch stainless steel and gold scissors, are heavier and they offer more control. They have a die cast steel blade and gold alloy handle. These are suitable for medium duty use. Cutting through layers of fabric, denim, thicker materials, especially if you are into upcycling, these are going to be really handy for you. My prideful possession that make my hobby sewist heart a flutter are these beautiful Guggenheim dressmaking scissors. These are $44 on their website, but there's a never ending 50% promotion that is supposed to expire in like six hours. But trust me, it hasn't expired in six months. These are the Cadillacs of dressmaking shears. These are nine inch scissors. These are slim, iron, just the right weight just the right sharpness and beautiful beautiful blade that glides through the fabric you just need a basic pair of fabric shears you do not need to invest in a very expensive pair do keep in mind that cheap fabric scissors get dull quite quickly so be sure to invest in fabric scissors that are 
at least some good value. What I do recommend is that you buy a basic pair of Fiskars or Westcott fabric shears that you dedicate only to fabric. Um, if you haven't yet watched my Walmart video, I covered all the good available fabric scissors in Walmart and uh, I will link it right here if you would like to take a look. Another thing to keep in mind is that if you are working with a difficult fabric, for instance, if you're cutting sequin, your fabric scissors are going to get dull. So be sure to invest in like a, a cheap pair of scissors for this project specifically. If you are cutting sequin, you are not going to be able to use those fabric scissors again because sequin is going to dull the fabric shears. So save your fabric scissors and use a cheap pair of scissors for your sequin projects. Similarly, if you're using a metallic fabric or any fabric that contains a metallic thread, your fabric scissors are going to go bye-bye. So make sure that you use cheap fabric scissors for that particular project. For this, you can order multi-packs of uh, fabric scissors from Amazon. They're cheap. If they get dull, you can just downgrade them to your kitchen scissors. If you were to go through different drawers in my house, you would find so many scissors. They were all fabric scissors at one point and I used them for a certain project. They weren't good enough anymore and I just downgraded them to like paper cutting or package opening shears. Embroidery scissors. These are small, very pretty scissors with a bird design engraved into them with very thin blades. These embroidery scissors are designed to snip away stray threads close to the fabric. I just use the embroidery scissors to cut loose threads when I'm sewing on my sewing machine. Seam rippers are a very useful tool for cutting thread and taking seams apart. All seam rippers have the same shape, a handle with a metal structure with one long pointed end and another shorter end with a red ball on it. And the flat area between these ends is actually the blade. To use the seam ripper, push the pointed tip under a stitch that needs to be removed. Be careful to catch only the thread and don't poke through the fabric. Push the seam ripper and cut the thread with a blade. That's it! You can also use a seam ripper to cut out buttonholes. Rotary cutters. Rotary cutters can be a great way to quickly and accurately cut straight and curved lines. These are mainly used to cut straight edges such as squares for quilting, but you can cut your entire pattern with them if you have the dexterity. If you choose to use rotary cutters, remember that they're extremely sharp and one slip of a blade can take the tip of your finger right off. If you choose to go with rotary cutters, keep extra blade handy. Blunt blades can make it harder to cut and more likely to slip and cause accidents. I asked my internet tribe of sewists if they've had an accident. So many responses flooded in with their horror stories. In short guys, rotary cutters are weapons of fingertip murders. Don't use them if you're a beginner. If you do use rotary cutters, you also need a self-healing cutting mat underneath when cutting so you don't mark your table. The cutting mats usually have grid lines on them to accurately cut squares. You also need a quilting ruler or a metal ruler. As a beginner, I do not recommend that you invest in a rotary cutter, a cutting mat, and a transparent ruler at this point. First of all, those items are very expensive. A rotary cutter is going to set you back maybe $17 and you're also going to need to buy replacement blades because once they get dull, you can switch out the blades. Secondly, you cannot use a rotary cutter without a mat because if you use it on your dining table, you are going to scratch the surface. So a cutting mat is going to cost you $25 to $35. If you have an extra $50 to $70 to drop on a rotary cutter and a cutting mat, by all means do that. You do not actually need a square ruler for sewing. Most of the people are just going to get into sewing as a hobby. It's not going to be their full-time thing. So I do not see any reason why you should be spending hundreds of dollars into something that is going to be like a part-time hobby for you. You can go to the stationery section and you can buy a couple of transparent rulers for like a dollar. So what it boils down to is if you're a beginner sewist, all you need is one pair of fabric scissors, 
one pair of paper cutting scissors which is the cheap scissors that's about it you should be focusing on your skill you should be focusing on how to cut the fabric how to cut the pattern and how to sew instead of investing your time and money thinking about you should be buying more expensive cutting tools i hope that you find this video useful if you did please consider subscribing i post videos pretty much every week thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time